Welcome to Speed Dating with Learning Technologies. My name is April Millay. I'm an assistant teaching professor and learning designer in Earth and Mineral Sciences. I will be introducing you to Kaltura. Kaltura is Penn State's enterprise level cloud based media management platform for storing, publishing, and streaming videos, video collections, and other medias. You can also use Kaltura Capture, Kaltura screencasting software, to create a video. There are three options for accessing Kaltura. The first option is using the MediaSpace website. If you have a large number of videos to keep track of or want to share more widely, MediaSpace is the best option. Kaltura also has a mobile app for iPhone and Android. Not all options are available on the app, but it's great for students or if you want to quickly capture something and share it on the move. The easiest way to access Kaltura for use in courses is via Canvas. This option will serve the needs of most faculty for sharing videos with students. Just log in to enable My Media and Media Gallery in your settings. To do this, go to Settings and select Navigation and then Enable My Media and Media Gallery using the drop and drag feature. Save your changes. The links will show up in the left side menu. Now that you know how to get access to Kaltura, what can you use it for in your classes? Instructionally, Kaltura can be used in a few different ways. The first is as content for your class. With Kaltura, you can use an existing video, create one, or use one from YouTube. Pedagogically, you can use Kaltura to demonstrate or show students how to do something, explain or tell students about something, provide a student with an experience, or introduce or orient students to a new idea, concept, or theory. The next way to use Kaltura is by creating a video quiz to create an interactive video. This option allows you to make a video more engaging for students instead of being a passive activity. Once your video quiz is ready, you can create a Canvas assignment for it to hook it up to the gradebook. Go to My Media and select Add New and choose Video Quiz to get started. This is also where you can get access to Kaltura Capture to record videos. Once the video quiz interface opens, customize the settings for your quiz on the left and add questions where you want them as the video plays by clicking the Add a Question button. You can add graded multiple choice and true false questions as well as some ungraded options, reflection and open-ended questions to the video quiz. The questions will be right on the video so as a student watches the video the questions pop up for them to answer making the video an interactive experience. Here's what the video quiz will look like on an assignment page. You can add a little text that will display above the video. And if you want to mix up your students' assignments a bit, have them create a video and share it using the course Kaltura Media Gallery. Maybe instead of having students write a paper or project proposal, ask them to do a video pitch instead and share it with the class. There are two notable integrations. We've already talked about the one with Canvas. There's also a tool called Zoom. Zoom allows you to record yourself, a meeting, or your screen and save it to the cloud. The recordings will show up in Kaltura's My Media in Canvas automatically where you can either edit or share with students. There are no special skills required to use Kaltura. If you can create a PowerPoint or use Canvas, you can use Kaltura. Penn State has resources available for you to learn how to use Kaltura. There is a learning path dedicated to it on the IT Learning and Development website. You can also register for a live training session on using Kaltura in Canvas. As always, resources are available in Canvas. Just start with the Help button and select Penn State Canvas Knowledge Base. Or you can make an appointment with Dutton Institute's Learning Design Team or visit Kay DeMarco in the faculty studio. She will be more than willing to assist you. Thank you.